what's going on guys it's your boy the g flash and welcome back for the halloween banner trailer and i'm joined with my three guests can dog gdk and saki master one hello hi so um yeah apparently tonight is the halloween banner trailer even though some people thought it was um another day because of the long maintenance we're gonna have but it came tonight so um that's pretty exciting i will say i have no idea who is on this banner because i didn't even want to bother looking at the thumbnail so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what this trailer is about. Uh, here we go. Oh. Sweet meats and trick or treat. Okay. I feel like that should give you a sign. Yeah. Oh, I th oh. Whoa, Samara. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Also, she looks nice. Yeah. Oh, she's Lance like Infantry. Okay. Yeah, this oh, no. bonus doubler four. Yup, Tacho already predicted that was going to come at some point. Yup. It's so Joe So gonna love this. Oh, this is awesome. Tamara. Hi, Flane. Ooh, Flane. I just yeah, I explained it so I could see dressing up as something. Just for today? Meow. Meow. Wow. I feel like Ooh. She's a cavalier healer. She's got holy pressure. Okay. Dazzle far tree. Oh, wow. I actually want. Can I say this plane is adorable? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Meow. Uh, sea doll. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, the dancer from Engage. Looks like Sea doll is the demote. That's fine. A free dancer, that's, that's that is. A, that's an excellent demote. And he's got attack rest finish three. That's really good. And infantry no follow up. Excellent for a demote. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And then. Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Anna! Oh hey. my gosh! Wow! <laughs> Holy smokes! So, G Flash, this basically screws over G K. So, oh my yeah. gosh! And Big... every... <laughs> so you got the awakening Anna and the engaged kid Anna. Together, uh, wow. Also, G, remember, Bright Anna was later earlier this year, too. Wow, Anna is getting a lot of popularity. Wow, that is mind blowing. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, buddy. No, it's not. It's okay. You're oh my god, wow. Okay, this is, um, this was absolutely something I did not say. Who's also, the freebie? No wait, is that? Wait, 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 hold on a minute. That is, is Kellyum. Who is this? Kellyum. Yeah. Who's Kellyum? Yeah, the guy from <laughs> Awakening. Okay. Kellyum is, is a knight who. Kellum is a knight who actually is pretty much a nobody that apparently is kind of the butt of a joke because every time that he follows the shepherds and stuff, he apparently nobody uh, realizes that he's behind them or whatever. Wow. Um, so he's so Kelji's father. Oh, yeah, I, okay. I, yeah. Okay, so I, I don't think we have a Tempest Falls unit. I, 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 I don't see anything. I mean, that's the long time. What, what, like, what is, what, who? Who is that? <laughs> uh, right. uh, okay, so. Can I do, so, can huh? I do some Tamara? Tamara? 
Yeah, once we yeah, 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 sure. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first unit we have is Tamara. Now, Tamara is a unit I absolutely like a character I absolutely could see dressing up as a Halloween because I mean, if you know anything about uh, Tamara, she loves to party and sing. So <laughs> a Halloween party, she absolutely would like join in on the on the spirit. So she's a Lance Infantry unit, and go ahead, Cam Dog, take it away. All right, so let me just give you my home to my friends and so shout out to them. Um, that's me, got one of the best music engaged at White Sandstorm. Top tier for us. We're not here to discuss that, unfortunately. I was at, but we got her Lance at Inspirit this Spirit. I started turning the oh, oh, yeah, it has slain as far as current as far as within. Three rows and the concept of your uh, years, guess for E plus six, we in defense plus six year and I was within two spaces for one uh, a year for one test stuff. Any phase was within three spaces three rows of three cones, you know, you know, of course God. And also it flows can trigger flow special flows special cool girls. What's greater than one and for the first unit there is it. The first. So the first special pull up plus one on the can answers. Yep, yep, okay. A stock combat if unit is H is about twenty five, so basically it's unit this. Plus five all stats and you know, like tax B defense minus X on so you know, combat actually equals 15% of defense of the defense of unit defense. I start combat, you know, 40 damage. I'll use defense, the special triggers, that's clear. Area effect and restore 7 HP of combat. Oh, oh my god, that was a mouthful. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a good weapon. Oh, I think this is reckless in Sandstorm, but that's probably gonna be late once she's gonna be, once she. Count it as their independent for. I think that's what, but I'm not so I'm sure. For Astra, so yes, we don't have to kill Molinos anymore, guys. We can kill Tamara. Yep. All right, let me read this because I was checking Twitter. All right, so it's in here. In that in spirit is spirit. What? Ugh, that's such a mouth. Okay. <laughs> Minus one special cooldown. If any foe with a three rows or three columns center on unit grant speed defense plus six to unit and allies with him with two spaces of unit for one turn, um, at start of enemy phase for foes within three rows or three columns center on unit inflicts guard on the foe. And also if foes attack and trigger foe special, foe special cooldown count uh, gr less than or equal to one, and foe's defense is less than unit defense, inflicts a special cooldown count plus one on the foe. And then at the start of combat, if unit's HP is 25%, all stops plus five, and inflict a stack speed defense minus X on the foe during combat. X equals 15% of unit defense at start of combat. Deals damage equal 40% of unit defense when special triggers. Um, and then, uh, and restore seven HP to unit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that that was th yeah that was levels in sandstorm at some point. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, Tati, are you having mic troubles? I saw your text by the way on the top right corner. Okay. Hey. Um, if you have micro, just just type. I can see your text on the top right corner, so it's all right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so basically, T Tamara's uh, weapon right here, just she just needs to be in three rows and three columns on the foe, and then she can start doing all her guard and, you know, foe's defense and, you know, stuff like that. And making sure they don't proc their, uh, uh, proc their special easily, pretty much. And then she hits like a truck and deals them based on her defense. So I'm, I'm guessing her defense is gonna be really high, and then she yeah. heals she heals herself after combat which i guess that's a kind of a thing with tamara also her hitting really hard is 
she has that sandstorm like skill yeah. in engage yeah. that allows her to hit a lot harder than what she already deals out. So I guess that inherits right here. So that's pretty good. All right, next I up, she's got Vital Astra, which is perfect for her. And then bonus doubler four. All right, so we got the upgraded version. Let's see what it does. If bonus is active on unit or an ally within two spaces of units, grants all stats plus X to unit during combat. X equal four plus highest bonus on each step between unit and allies within two spaces of unit. Wow, okay. So bonus doubler has evolved into not only giving yourself stat based on the blue buff on yourself, but also give in combat stats to you based on the allies that um, is uh, within two spaces of you that's also got buffed up. So this is basically, um, this is basically the Astrom effect, basically. So, just... yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, yeah. I was gonna say, is this like a status thing? If it, it was, I was gonna imagine Citrine's using that and play, oh no, that sounds cursed. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is actually a better upgrade because now instead of relying on your own buffs, which I mean, if you're facing somebody with a wall skill, then they're gonna shut off all of your blue bonuses. Now you can rely on your allies for getting uh, your stats in combat too with their uh, blue buffs that aren't facing uh, against somebody with a lull skill. So yeah. that's a little bit better, I will say. So this is a good I upgrade was, from bonus I doubler. Be, I honestly thought this was going to be more ridiculous, but no, it's actually kind of tame, so... Ooh. Yeah, but they balanced it out pretty good. Um... I was going to say something about Tamara. Oh yeah, Shell's Tamara and Sandstorm. <laughs> yeah, and Sandstorm, yeah. Oh, God, I love that. That was a... That was oh, a yeah. flip. Yeah. And then she's got... The yeah. And then she's got Sperm 4 and then Time Pulse 4, which is, you know, a bread and butter right there. So there is that's Tamara. So all Tamara wants is to just give bonus doubler forward on herself and then just proc her weapons condition and just be tanky all the time. So yeah, you go Tamara. I'm glad you're in the game. Well, even though that's a Halloween version, but hey, I'm yeah, glad you're still gonna, here. You know, it's gonna be funny if Tamara was a bull. Yeah. <laughs> Because you gonna have the uh, April Fool's video. Oh yeah, absolutely. She's in, but hey, <laughs> at least she's in the game. Yep. Uh huh. All right, so, uh, uh, yep, I agree. Next up, we got is adorable little sister Flame right here, and she's dressed as a cat with a parasol, and she's a cavalier healer which we haven't had a Cavalier healer in like a while now. So uh, it's good that we have another one. All right. It's so like the last one. Uh, 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 is that Kid Lara Shell? Oh I think God. it is Kid Lara Shell. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, read, uh, read the description of her weapon while I look this up. Uh, okay. Oh wait, no, it's um dual Elise. Oh, oh yes, dual Elise oh, later no. this year. Yeah, oh, the, God, who, now, who, now you, Yeah, who introduced God. the damage specials for healers? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Blaine yeah. has got Kitty Cat Parasol. Oh wow, I got it right. So at first has Wrathful Staff built into it. It's got minus one special cooldown. That's always good for a healer staff. Um and then for allies within two spaces of unit grants uh, the breath effect to ally per attack only uh high okay neutralize their foes bonuses to attack okay and reduce damage from attack by 30 percent excluding aoe if unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of ally grants attack rest up six and then unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack okay so basically right. flame does the stuff that she does in her base version but a little bit more <coughs> so 
which she has minus one special cooldown. Then she grants the breath effect, like the world breaker effect to the allies, apparently. That's one of the two spaces of her. And then they, she neutral nullified the foe's bonuses to their attack stats, their blue like a bonus on their attack. And then she does the 30% DR like her base version does. And then she doubles because I'm pretty sure Flame is gonna have the pretty same similar stat like her base version. Yeah. This is just this is just Flame Plus basically. Yeah, That's Flame basically Plus. Uh huh. And then she's got Rescue Plus, which is an awesome, uh, which is one of the better healing assists. And then Holy Pressure. Of course, we all know how uh, <laughs> how good Holy Pressure is, though. I mean. It boosts damage by 45% of foes' breath, and then you inflict gravity on the target and adjacent foes after combat. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> and then she's got attack res unity, and then dazzle far trace. Yup, that's right. We have dazzling staff as a far trace skill now. So it's Ganto Ram and then speed minus four on the foe and then the the dazzling staff effect. So yeah, oh this is God. this is really good. You could definitely give that to your cavalier healers now, like Kid Larachel, uh yeah. the groom Saul, and you know and even Spring Bruno, of course. <laughs> so, yeah, so, but we can't but we can't forget the flyers as well. Yeah, and yeah. the flyers. Uh, the, the flyers too. Oh, oh, uh, hello, uh, hello, brave Camilla. Yeah, yeah. brave Camilla. Also, uh -huh. I just wanted to note this: uh, look how small Dazzle Flash is compared to every other skill. It's great. Yeah, I know, right? So, uh, so, so, the, so there could be a possibility that they may bring a uh, bring a raffle a raffle far trace then. Uh, yeah, that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Well, it's got to be if they're going to be making a dazzle far trace. I mean, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, it's not going to be long before a raffle comes. So that mm -hmm. means another cavalry healer or something or flying healer or whatever. Yep, exactly. Yep. Okay, so that's right. um, that's Kitty uh, Flane right here, and then. Is she's gonna take out this blue mannequin with her holy pressure with those uh, uh, paws of a cat. And then we have got uh, the dancer, the only dancer from Engage, Sea Doll. And he's a uh, Red Tome Infantry unit. And he's got Pumpkin Stem Plus. At start of turn, if units within two spaces of an ally grants attack res of six and allies within two spaces of a unit for one turn, if unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally grants all stats of X to unit during combat, X plus four equal highest bonus on each stat. Oh, so, okay, it's basically bonus doubler four that we just saw in a weapon. Oh. Wait, does that mean we can get bonus doubler or oh, we, we might get a bonus double for so um huh oh um, do we do, so you, do you think the, the tt tempest Charles gear is gonna have bonus double four in this uh, weapon i guess so <laughs> okay that's kind of funny yeah yeah so okay so cedo's weapon basically just grants you a visible a blue attack res bonus of six and then does the bonus double or four effect that we just saw in tamara uh so yeah that's a decent weapon i will say making you a stat ball and then he's got dance of course he's got dance and then attack rest finish three yep we got attack rest finish three right here so if you have um Somebody with attack rest finish four you want to fodder along with another skill. There's your prerequisite right here. And then infantry no follow up. So yeah, infantry no follow up is a great like support skill for your infantry units who are fast and doesn't want to run no follow up in their B slot or a physical no follow up, even though I'd, I'd say you can run that. But if you have to run like a uh damage reductions uh be skilled then infantry no follow-up by some support unit can provide you the no follow-up oh 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure Seedle is going to be a good merch project, and he'll probably have higher BST than most of the dancers now. And I mean, I think he might have a little bit more than some of the current range dancers. So that'll be uh, kind of fun. And then he's going to take out uh, this axe unit with some pumpkin. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about uh, the absolute weirdest unit but also funniest unit of the ever duo anna oh, don't you dare call them funny <laughs> <laughs> gee i think there's only one person here that can do anna there's only one person <laughs> give it up to gdk come on yeah yeah okay so the duo anna the awakening and engage version Oh, wait, hold on a minute. This is the Engage Anna at the lead and the Awakening version as the Backpacker. Okay, that's kind yeah, of... Yeah. Wow, okay. Two, two of my favorites. Two of my favorite girls and one. Why are they doing this to me? Hey, <laughs> hey GK, welcome to the club. Hi. Uh, yeah. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Yeah. At least, you got, at least you get your tiki's early. I had to wait for so long for them to get Anna to come and to come looking like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Anna is a axe flyer, and uh, yeah, go ahead, GDK. Oh Lord, I don't know where to start with this. <laughs> okay, so Axe Flyer, like we haven't gone through this before. So her weapon is called Payday Pouch, which is understandable, nice name, that apparently grants speed plus three. If number of bonuses effect active on unit uh, is more than three, enables Canto two. At the start of at the start of turn, grants fallen effects to units based on the number of allies within two spaces of unit. If more than one, grants null follow up. If more than two, grants hex hex blade. Oh Lord. Um, if unit if unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants plus five all stats to unit and grants uh, plus X on to the attack at speed to unit. X equal 25% of foe's attack at the start of combat and so on. During combat and also if number of bonus effect activated on unit is more than three, reduces the percentage of foes and on special, reduces damage by X percent, skills by 50% during the combat, Reduces damage by 45%. Skill would reduce damage by 23% instead. Dear God, are they trying to make her like a freaking clod here? Uh-huh. Because, I mean, the way that this is, uh, the way that they're pr pretty much playing her here, especially considering the fact that she's got Hexblade in her weapon, which, by the way, I love that. Um... It's like they're trying to make her into a uh, into a green axe uh, clawed version here, and then she's also got attack speed prime four. I mean, we literally just got that skill last month of all things, and they're bringing it back on another unit. And then let's see, we've got miracle as a special, which is understanding. Then we got oh look, hello um. Last month, it wasn't last month, but it was August when we got the Brave Heroes, and we're already getting another fodder of Gambit 4. How fun. And then we've got Attack uh, and Speed Rain Snap. Okay, Jay, just to clarify here, the um, what do you think about the snaps? I mean, do you uh, still find them pretty useful? Oh. Yeah, oh. I mean, it's kind of underrated. Like, I know people just yeah. like guidance for and uh, soaring guidance on their flyers, yeah. but the snap skills, yeah. they're pretty good because it gives you some extra movement to your infantry and armor allies, which I think yeah. is really helpful. I, I, I think snap yeah. is very underrated because people underestimate what happens when you don't read what happens to the when you don't read what snap does and then you just and then just people just kind of explode i know yeah from, yes yeah i uh, basically understand it too uh but honestly i like the fact that at least we got an attack speed version of it which will be very useful for uh for uh, depending on which unit you want to put it on 
as long as it's like melee base i would say um but other than that i mean it's a good kit overall but i still don't like the fact that they are basically wanting me to uh to get a damn credit card just to uh just to buy this uh-huh yeah, it, it's been so well with anna too yeah so other than that i mean i would have to i would have to get this a rating out of uh, like maybe a uh uh, heck yeah out of uh, out of a hundred here because I mean the payday pouch I mean the weapon in general along with the prime four here is too good I mean this entire base kit is just fodder material now if I had to pick uh, pick a different skill over the miracle I would say give aether to her uh-huh oh, yeah so but either way I'm done I'm uh, I'm just through with this nonsense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. This Anna is uh, pretty bananas, I will say. So let me uh, let me go ahead and read her weapon because I was also looking at Twitter at the time, but I I, I heard everything, but I want to read it myself. Okay, so speed plus three. If number of bonus effect active on unit, excluding stat bonuses, is greater than three. Enables Canto 2. Okay, that's pretty good. At start of turn, grants the following effects to you based on number of allies within two spaces of unit. If greater than one, grants no follow up. If greater than two, grants Hexblade. Ooh. If unit initiates combat orders within two spaces of allies, grants all sets plus five and grants attack speed plus X. X equals 25% of foes attack at the start of combat, minus eight, minimum zero, maximum 10. And then also if number of bonus effect active on unit excluding stat bonus is greater than three reduce percentage of foes non-special uh reduce damage by x skills by 50 percent oh wow okay so anna could get a canto 2 no follow-up and hex blade and then gets all sides plus five then additional attack and speed based on the foes attack and then she cuts the damage reduction skills by half so it's basically the second effect on physical no follow-up and magical no follow-up. So that's pretty good, I will say. Uh, and then she's got a miracle because you need a bit high cooldown special for Gambit 4 to reach his full potential. And then attack speed prime four. Yup, this skill made a return again because it's such a good skill. <laughs> um, and then the rain snap skill right here, which is just perfect for her uh so yeah anna's got everything going on in her kit right here uh she can cut dr she could get no follow-up she could just encounter she gets d uh, uh, more dr from gambit 4 um well, no she gets dr from gambit 4 and then she moves one extra space <laughs> so yeah this is pretty good very awesome unit yeah I'm, uh, I don't know, but still. Also, at the same time, her stats are available. I was and just gonna, I was just gonna say that. All right, so 40 HP, uh, 60 attack, 50 speed, 31 defense, and 27 RAS. Um, I'm pretty sure she, yep, okay, so she technically has 47 speed, and then the additional three got added on. All right. So harmonized skill is resonance blade and resonance shield and restore 99 HP to unit and allies from the same title. What? Grand special clue I call minus five to unit. Holy smokes. She can pre-charge her miracle. Wow. Imagine if you run Aether on her, then she can pre-charge Aether as well. Yeah, but, when would, but when would be the perfect time to charge it that's the main thing yeah but i mean still the fact she has this is oh my gosh wow <laughs> it's, it's, oh my God. it's crazy i mean but honestly it's also just it's it's weird in the same time but also at the same time i mean i get it as well but I, I don't like the fact that they made it into a harmonized skill because it's only uh, it's only reflected to just engage and uh, awakening units 
I mean, I can understand in some regards, you know, basically, because if it was like a dual skill, then everybody could be able to get to Aether at, uh, at the lowest possible. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay, so that's dual and I mean harmonic. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do I skip dual? Like I know they're Anna's, but they're different titles. <laughs> okay. So that's a banner, and now we have got a John Cena ripoff or John Cena like kind of character <laughs> where I, it, the the crow can absolutely fit right here. I can't see John Cena. Can you? <laughs> so that applies to this guy right here. In this house. Huh? We're playing Where's Waldo. Where's yeah, Where's Waldo. Where's Waldo? <laughs> yeah, where's we're playing Where's Waldo right here. So where's Kelman or where's a Kelman John Cena? I yeah, I can't see Kelman. Can you? <laughs> Yeah, I just got the joke from what people have been saying. So apparently this Kelman guy is in Awakening. He's invisible, but nobody pays attention to him. He's literally just John Cena. Can't, you can't see him, even though he's there. <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, though, um, he's a sword unit. And uh, um, it looks like he's going to have the same bonus double four weapon like uh, Seal does. So it'll be interesting to see what yeah. he comes with, though. And that that's it. That's the Halloween banner. Uh, so very strong selection of choices this time around. Engaged people also could the, finally calm down now. They got some uh, representation. Also, also there's no, not a single dragon this year. Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> they uh, cooled down this year. And I was going to say, don't say, and don't say, <laughs> Hey, don't say it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the data not... mine, the data mine is gonna be tomorrow. Oh. Or, well, oh after my. the maintenance, that is though. Oh, oh. I was. All right. Mhm. Mm I so... I get this. I I'm glad I get to skip this one because I was right. For some reason, I thought that so I was on the ride with Yuki for some reason. <laughs> There's Tamara, so. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I, I can't skip this. I mean, this is this is gonna yeah. hurt me, though. So. Oh, yeah, yeah you, 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 you gotta get Anna. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah you're waiting for us to do yeah. this one. Well, I mean, I gotta get every unit for the catalog, but uh -huh. still, this yeah. is gonna hurt me. This is gonna <laughs> hurt me bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, so if you want to. <laughs> yep, my thoughts exactly. Um, yeah. anyway, so uh, yeah, that's the banner. Let me know in the comments what you think of this banner and uh, if you're gonna summon on it. Also, if you like what I do, like, share, and subscribe. You want to see me do more of these videos. And with that being said, I will see you all whenever the data mine drops. Thanks so much for watching, and it's your boy the G5 signing out. Bye. Bye. Bye.